Hello dear students, I'm an English teacher of the Bukhara State Pedagogical Institute, Narziva Inobadzuyerovna. Today we will talk about the theme ethics and social responsibility. First of all, we should define the word responsibility. Responsibility is quite possible the main part of human life and character. It's duty regarding one's activity that makes a human. It's a usually acknowledged thought that the individual who isn't assuming liability for their activities ought not and it can't be believed that they are not genuinely a person. In any case, in the cutting edge world, we have the always developing propensity of the state to eliminate the possibility of obligation from new and new spaces of human life. There are two primary choices in life, to accept conditions that they exist or accept the responsibility for changing them. And accept responsibility for your life. Know that it's your who will you get, you where you want to go, no one else. What is social responsibility? Being socially responsible means that people and organizations must behave ethically and with sensitivity towards social, cultural, economic and environmental issues. So, social responsibility, the duty of every individual has to perform so that they maintain a balance between the economy and the ecosystems. Striving for social responsibility helps individuals, organizations and governments have a positive impact on development, business and society with a positive contribution to bottom line results. It pertains not only to business organizations but also to everyone whose any action impacts the environment. This responsibility can be passive by avoiding engaging in socially harmful acts or active by performing activities that directly advance social goals. Social responsibilities include four dimensions. They are legal, ethical, economic and philanthropic. Uh, refers to being governmental laws and regulations, the civil war, and rights and duties of individuals, and uh, criminal law, and uh, prohibits specific actions and impulses, fines, imprisonment as punishment for breaking the law, they are legal dimension. And ethical dimensions are the following. Good ethnic means good business. Behaviors and activities that are expected or prohibited by organizations, members, the community and society not confident into law. Standards, norms or expectations that reflect the concern of major stakeholders. There are economical dimension. How resources for the production of goods and services are distributed within the social system. And consumers always favor social responsible companies or the most enamored with a company that maximize profits. Now we talk about philanthropic dimension, businesses' contributions to society, strategic philanthropy, charitable trusts, and Microsoft companies.
Hierarchies is a pyramid of social responsibility. So responsibilities, uh, it's a good corporate citizen, for example, contribute resources to the community, improving quality of life and to others. And the ethical responsibilities, be uh, ethical, that it means obligation to do what is right, just and fair and avoid harm. And the legal responsibilities obey the law. It means law is society's codifications of right and wrong, play by the rules. And the last is economic responsibilities. It's the foundation upon which all others rest. Students' social responsibility. Uh, known as uh, SSR is the responsibility of every student for his or her actions. It's morally binding everyone to act in such a way that the people around them are not adversely affected. Student social responsibility is based on an individual's ethics. It may be impractical, especially in the modern competitive world, where everyone works for their self-interest, but will succeed if we take decisions based on what will benefit a large number of people and respect everyone's fundamental rights. As individuals, we can make our small contributions to society by donating money to trustworthy, saving our resources by reducing our consumption. For example, by switching off lights, uh, computers when not in use. And there are corporate social responsibility. Corporate social responsibility is a nothing but how the business takes responsibility for social economic and environmental impacts it may produce from its operation or products. Corporate social responsibility, also called corporate responsibility, corporate citizenship and responsible business. Organizations obligation to make decisions and take action that will enhance the welfare and interest of society and organization. Besides being a good corporate citizen, organizations voluntarily taking further steps to improve the quality of life for employers and their families, as well as their local community and society at large. Here you may see the individual social responsibility. Individual social responsibility is about an individual becoming responsible in his or her actions that have effect on communities outside his or her immediate circle. The immediate circle being family and friends. There can be an argument about also including family and friends but it would be rather pertinent to include them as part of individual personal responsibility. Individual personal responsibility expands on his by promoting a proactive stance towards uh, positively influencing and affecting their people and environment outside your immediate circle. Individual social responsibility that the roots of fears are because the corporate comprises of individuals and has determined the social responsibility culture it creates. This is the intermingled relationship between CSR and ISR. Businesses' response to social responsibility tend to fall within four categories. 
so the uh, the following view taken by business is that they have no obligation to the society in which they operate and uh, companies believe that they have an obligation to obey the law and the uh, position takes by companies which believe that their social responsibilities are as dictated by law and will on selective basis go beyond to the legal requirements. These units may volunteer to participate in limited socially responsible efforts, but not until they are convinced that the benefits outweigh the cost. And the last position taken by companies which believe that they have a deep obligation to serve their society. The reasons. So business enterprises are creatures of society and should respond to the demands of society. If the management does not react to change in social demands, the society will either for them to do so through laws or will not permit the enterprise to survive. Therefore, the long-term interests of business are best served when management assume social responsibilities. Reasons for social responsibility. The image of business organization are linked with the quality of its products and customer service and the extent to which it fulfills the expectations of owners, employers, consumers, government, and the community at large. For long-term success, it matters a great deal if the firm has a favorable image in the public mind. And, uh, every business enterprise is the organ of society. So they are, and its activities have impact on the social scene. Therefore, it's important for management to consider whether their policies and actions are likely to promote the public good, advances the basic values of society, and constitute to its stability, strength, and harmony. Social responsibility. It's recent trends. Responsibility of business toward different interest groups, their, uh, the society, uh, the customers, the suppliers, owners, employers, investors, and others. Increasing concern for the social responsibility of management. It's now recognized that besides taking care of the financial interests of owners, managers of business firms must also take into account the interests of various owners, such as employers, consumers, the government, and the community as a whole. Responsibility toward owners. The primary responsibility of management is to assure a fair and reasonable rate of return on capital, and a fair return on investment can be determined on the basis of difference in the risks of, well, for business in different fields of activity. Within the growth of business, the shareholders can also expect appreciation in the value of their capital. Management responsibility towards employers relate to the fair wages and salaries, satisfactory work environment, labor management relations, and employee welfare. 
Fair rates should be fixed in the light of labor productivity, the prevailing wage rates in the same or neighboring areas, and the relative importance of jobs. So managers' salaries and allowances are expected to be linked with their responsibility, initiative, and skill. But the spread between minimum rates and higher salaries should be reasonable. Employers are expected to build up and maintain harmonious relationship between superior and subordinates. Responsibility also towards customers. In a competitive market, serving consumer is supposed to be a prime concern of management. But in reality, perfect competition does not prevail in all product markets. In the event of shortage of supply, there is no automatic correction. Consumer interests are thus protected to some extent with laws and pressure of organized consumer groups. Management should anticipate these developments, satisfy consumer needs and protect consumer interests. Goods must be of appropriate standard and quality and uh, be available in adequate quantities and reasonable prices. Management should avoid resorting to herding or creating artificial scarcity as well as false and misleading advertisements. Responsibility toward uh, so some government some, there are some pressures and organizations to address their business ethics. And uh, at the part of their social responsibility, management must conduct business affairs in lawful manner, honestly pay all the taxes and dues, and should not corrupt public officials for selfish ends. Business activities must also conform to the economic and social policies of the government. Responsibility towards community and society. The socially responsible role of management in relation to the community are expected to be relevant by its policies with respect to the employment of handicapped persons and the weaker sections of the community, environmental protection, pollution control, setting up industries in backward areas, and providing relief to the victims of natural calamities, etc. So there are some key, key points. And uh, are you one of us? Then be a socially responsible doctor. So by the end, I want to add when the letter I is replaced by V, even illness becomes wellness. So this is for now. Thank you for your attention.